Hi there, this is Atul again and you are watching Frankly Curious FC. Keyboard, organ and piano. You might have heard these words and the question is are they different or are they same? This video is a discussion about that. The answer is they are not same. There are differences between these in three instruments but there are also similarities which is why most people think that they are same. So before we proceed, let's quickly take a look at the pictures of the instruments that I'm going to mention in this video. So first off, we have piano. So this is a piano and more specifically, it's a grand piano. This is also a grand piano. This is a grand piano seen a little bit from a higher angle. And here you see, this is also a piano. Uh, it's an acoustic piano. It's called upright piano. Now let's take a look at organs. So this is uh, the picture of an organ. This too is a picture of an organ. You can see that organs are quite big, bigger than piano. It takes the space of a big room, usually found in churches. This is also an organ. This is the console where you play. This is again the console of an organ. And this is a harmonium and this is an accordion now let's take a look at electronic keyboards this is an electronic keyboard a very basic electronic keyboard this too is an electronic keyboard this too is an electronic keyboard an advanced version which belonged to my cousin Ruben this is a photo that I took and this is my piano master Robin sir playing his keyboard a very advanced version and this is guitar which is a keyboard kept like a guitar this is also a guitar you can see uh, the famous musician Stephen Devesey playing this guitar. So I'm going to talk about the differences and the similarities. First, I'll talk about the differences. The differences in these instruments is in the way the tone of each instrument is produced. For example, in a piano, the tone of the piano is produced by a hammer inside the piano box hitting a very tight string the hammer strikes a string and the string starts vibrating and that is how the tone in the piano is produced each key there are in a piano there are 88 keys 88 keys white and black total and each key has an, a hammer attached to it and has a string corresponding to each hammer corresponding to each key so when you press one key the the hammer attached to that key will hit the string corresponding to that key so there will be 88 hammers and there will be 88 strings for each of these 88 keys. So that's how a piano produces its sound or its tone. Now take the case of organ. In an organ, the tone is produced by air passing through pipes. When air passes through pipes, there is circulation of air through the pipes and it causes vibration of the air inside the pipe and totally there will be a tone produced. This tone will be very different, it will, so it will sound very different to the, from the tone of a piano. So in organ, it's air passing through pipes that produces the tone of the organ. Now let me also talk about two other instruments that is harmonium, accordion. Harmonium and accordion are also similar to organ in the way they produce tones because they also deal with air. But the difference in harmonium and accordion is that they don't use pipes. Instead, they use something called reed, R-E-E-D, which is just a vibrating structure. And in harmonium and accordion, again, we make the air pass through these reeds and make them vibrate and thereby producing a very significant peculiar characteristic tone and now the case of electronic keyboard the tone is produced totally electronically electronic keyboard does not work without electricity that makes me say piano and organ and harmonium and accordion does not require electricity to get the tone 
they just make the tone acoustically we call it acoustically a c o u s t i c a l l y acoustics it's basically pure acoustics natural acoustic but electric keyboard requires electricity to work and the tone you hear in an electronic keyboard that's the one is uh, here behind me it is electronic and let me also give a small hint on how those tones are made in electronic keyboard there is something called sampling sampling is you audio record the sound of a real piano or a real organ or a real guitar or a real violin or a real any instrument and then you add this recording into the hardware of the into the hardware and software of the electronic keyboard and that's exactly sampling so when you play a key on the keyboard the recorded voice of the original key original instrument is played back that's all so it's just like a recording played back that's called sampling that's the key. that is how a uh, electronic keyboard produces its tone so without electricity no tones that's it all right i'm done with the differences now let me talk about the similarities of these instruments keyboard piano organ accordion harmonium and even guitar they all have one thing common they all have the same keyboard layout that is black keys and white keys the there is a pattern also for these black and white keys and this pattern is universal first you get a set of two black keys then a set of three black keys then a set of two black keys then a set of three black keys so this is a universal pattern and this particular keyboard layout is present in all keyboards all pianos all organs all harmonium and even all accordion and even in all guitars so therefore all these instruments that i mentioned right now are classified as keyboard instruments because they have the same keyboard layout and coming to uh, the next point they all have very similar finger style the that finger style is the the way you play them so if you know how to play a piano then most probably you know how to play an organ and you can play a guitar a harmonium or an accordion or any such keyboard instruments so if you know the concept of this keyboard layout two black keys then a group of three black keys two black keys then three black keys then you can play all these keyboard instruments you will get to play them very easily you don't require extra learning on how to play them so that's the similarities behind these instruments and therefore i have discussed the differences between these instruments and the similarities between these instruments and that's all i have in this video thanks for watching goodbye hi there sorry for the interruption after the final shoot of this video while i was uh, going to my house for the editing process my friend ants called me and informed me that a piano has more than 88 strings i was wrong when i said a piano has only 88 strings in fact uh, a piano has around 230 strings inside it why does it have more than uh, 88 strings and why does it have uh, around 230 strings is beyond the scope of this video which i might discuss later on in the future but please understand that uh, it has just found that a piano has more than 88 strings even though the piano has only 88 keys it has more than 88 strings approximately around 230 strings so thank you bye